name is Katrina and welcome to KMD Lifestyle. Um, so for those of you all who are new to the blog and to the channel, I run a blog um, that is catered to tall and plus size women or curvy women. Um, and on the blog, I do a lot of hauls. I review different items that I purchase, um, as well as a few different style tips on how to kind of style your body for your height and for your curves and things like that. Um, and so as I've said a million times on my Instagram and on my blog, I've been doing a ton of shopping with this quarantine going on. Um, and one of the places that I shopped at is Nordstrom Rack and Nordstrom. Um, and so today I'm gonna review some of the items that I got from there. Let's jump right into it. So let's quickly review Nordstrom Rack and Nordstrom. I'll try to remember where I got each one of them from. Um, the first thing that I tried on was oh, the Calvin Klein long sleeve classic two pocket blazer. It's an 18W um, and the color is cinnamon. And I paid, uh, I don't know if y'all care to know this, but I paid $60 for it. Um, it's too big. I knew it was gonna be too big. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna keep it because I really, 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 really wanted it. Um, when I was out shopping, I bought this online, but when I was out shopping, I actually purchased one. I, I purchased it in a 12 and the 12 is too small. Um, and I've been like searching for it everywhere and I can't find it. If I, I got this one from Nordstrom Rack. Um, and if you shop at Nordstrom Rack, you know that um, it's, it's hit or miss. You don't know what you're going to get. You got to go in the store, every store that you can find and, and see if you can find it. Um, I think when you go in the store, you can ask associates if they can like check other stores inventory to see if they have it. Needless to say, this was like the only one that was in my area. Only one she could find in like all six of the Nordstrom Rack Center up there. Um, and so I've been like stalking this blazer. Anyway, I'm keeping the blazer. I'm just gonna get it tailored. Um, it's an 18W. I probably really just need like a 14, maybe a 16, but even like an 18W is like three, three sizes too big or something. I don't know. I'm gonna keep it and get it tailored or either I'll just wear it oversized. Absolutely loved it. Um, I pretty much loved the color. If it fit, I should have like recorded the one that actually like fit a little bit too tight. I should have recorded that one um, so you can see how it fits, but it fits amazingly well like if you get the size you need um so that was the first thing i tried on the next thing i, I tried on was the oh this um white fitted blazer it's the blank nyc fitted blazer i got this in an extra large i actually i'm gonna keep this i actually have this in black as well um and they both fit well this one is in a size or i said this is an extra large um it's slightly too small if I want to be honest, um, I can button it, but I button it and it like tugs, it tugs a little bit. It has, has stretch in it, pretty. Yeah, it has a good bit of stretch, not a lot, but it has some stretch in it. Um, but when I unbutton it, it appears like it can button and fit. And it fits really well. It gives me like a tailored look. So I'm gonna keep it. Um, I guess it's controversial whether you should like keep clothes that you can button or not button. I don't know. I'm keeping it. I like how it looks. Thought it was pretty. Um, like I said, it has some stretch to it. What else did I put? Yeah, that's it. So that's that. The next thing that I tried on was, um, oh, and this came from Nordstrom. And then the next thing I tried on came from Nordstrom Rack. And it's the same, um, it's the same brand. It's the Blank NYC, but it is a denim mesh detail crepe jacket. And that is this one. I don't, I guess this is kind of like black denim. It doesn't really feel like denim. Um, but either way, I like it. It fit well. It was really pretty. Um, it has a lot of stretch in it. This one is in an extra large as well. Um, and I'm not sure how much I paid for that. I didn't write that down. Maybe I'll insert it in the video. I'm not sure. I might insert it in the video. Um, but yeah, that felt really well. Um, since it's at the waist, has a lot of stretch. So I'm assuming that these are, because they're the same brand, I'm assuming that if you can 
fit one, you can fit the other. And, the, and the, if you get the same size, um, this one just has a bit more stretch in it. And so like, I'm able to zip it up just fine. Um, it fits, it's, it's like snug, but I can, I can zip it up fine and be like, be able to move. This one, I can button it, but it look it's it's tough so um so i'm gonna keep that one that was cute as well that was that one i only have four items up there let's see what was the next thing i tried on the next thing i tried on was the maggie london floral print sheath dress and that's the one at the end um it's in a size 16 and i paid 60 dollars for this one as well um very pretty i loved it i am i am a fan of I guess fitted sheath, sheath dresses, I guess. Um, but I like for them to go past my knees, which I believe this one does. Um, it has a lot of stretch to it. Um, and it fits perfectly. And it's also like scoop neck, scoop neck, scoop neck. Um, I don't know. Perfect. It fit me perfect. I loved it. I'm keeping it. It's like, yeah, perfect is the word. Like, it's not too small, but it's not... There's not much room, not much give. Um, if it didn't have the stretch, it actually probably wouldn't fit my hips. But it looks good and it fits well. Um, yeah, that was the next thing I tried on. And then, what else did I try on? That? Oh, this. The Topshop Cowback Satin Slip Dress. So I love, absolutely love slip dresses and I want one really bad I do not own any um primarily because I don't think they'll fit me um slip dresses I have too much curve and so I feel like if I bought a, bought a slip dress I have to buy it way big and then like maybe get it tailored so that it'll fit my hips and not too big be big to be big not be too big um in my body area in the torso area um and so I've picked up several of them and like just put them back. Didn't even like, didn't try them on, put them in my carts and then like deleted them out of my carts. This one I per, well it's not up here. It's black um, and it's past my knees I believe. I purchased this one because, and I got it from Topshop. And if I didn't say I got this from Nordstrom Rack. Uh, Nordstrom Rack. Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack. Okay, so anyway, the slip dress um, I got from Nordstrom, and I only purchased it because it was a size 14, but in parentheses, right next to the size 14, it says it fits like a 16 and 18, and then also it has stretch to it. Um, I always look in the details in the description and see what kind of material it's made out of, if it has any stretch. That tells me what size I'm going to wear. Usually I can like wear my lower size if it has stretch, or my higher size if it doesn't have any stretch. Um, and this one had stretch and because it was a 14 fit like a 16 18 that's why I purchased it this is what I love about doing these reviews I actually tried the dress on when I first got it and I was like absolutely not doesn't fit tried it on again just for this review and I'm like wait I think I like this I'm not I'm not like a hundred percent sold I'm about like 85 percent sold um, it fits really well in my torso area um yeah it fits really well in my torso area the only thing is that it's a little tight in the hips like a little bit but it's a but it's a slip dress it's a satin slip dress so it's supposed to be like kind of sexy-ish it's supposed to be sexy and so i feel like the little bit of tightness that's around my hips is okay you all leave a comment below and let me know what you think about that dress um I'm not 100% sold, but I'm I'm more I'm I'm not 100 I'm not sending it back yet. I'm not sure. So, anyway, um yeah, if if you're like me, you just need a little bit of stretch, sometimes a lot bit depending on the size. Um then I say try it. You can always take it back. Nordstrom has like an amazing return policy. So, I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit and figure it out from there. So, Yes, that is everything I got from Nordstrom slash Nordstrom Black. Just for clarification, the white blazer and the satin slip dress is the only thing that I have from Nordstrom. Everything else came from Nordstrom Rack. Um, and if you don't know, Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack also sell 
up to a size 13 maybe even for like 14 15 i know for sure up to a size 13 in shoes they sell sam edelman um which is like the primary <laughs> yeah which is like the primary shoe that i buy from them um or brand that i buy from them in shoes and then they sell like a few other ones um I, there's there's a few other ones as well um but if you have big feet like i do then be sure to check out Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack. Um, and Nordstrom Rack, go to all of them in your area because, like I said, it's always hit or miss. You never know what you're going to find. I pers I live in Seattle and I literally, at least once a month, go to every Nordstrom Rack in the area. And there's like six of them. Um, there might be more, but there's like six of them. If I want to, if I want to get like happy or if I want to be like do the most, then I'll even drive like bit outside of Seattle area <laughs> to go look for stuff um but anyway that's it that's my review of Nordstrom Nordstrom Rack love this store um have a lot of tall plus size friendly items so these are the ones that I tried um if you recommend any let me know because you know I'm always here for trying something new um and if you're thinking about getting these things I hope this helped all right bye